Where is it? Where is it? Where is the embedded wireless controller? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. We're going to be talking about the embedded wireless controller that is in the Cisco 9128P. I'm Sean Barr with Looking Point, and we help IT organizations make decisions around networking, security, and cloud. Let's go! We're back and we're talking about the Cisco Embedded Wireless Controller. Before I start talking about the actual embedded wireless controller, I just want to cover the types of controllers you could have if you're deploying a wireless environment. So you've got a traditional hardware controller-based controller, which controls all of the APs in a wireless network. You've also got a virtual controller that you could run on a cloud environment or you could run in a virtual environment like VMware, those types of things where you could run a, a controller as a virtual instance. What we're talking about is the embedded controller which runs on a device itself that maybe is the AP. So in some cases it could run on a switch. In this case what I'm talking about is the embedded controller that runs on the AP itself. We're using the Cisco 9120 as our example of a wireless AP. In addition to that you could also run controller less which means you're configuring each individual AP with its own configuration. The benefit of leveraging a controller is that you configure it centrally your configuration for your location and it will distribute that configuration to every AP controlled by the controller. So that was a lot of words. Let's jump into the actual controller itself. So what I have on my screen is the embedded wireless controller which is running on this Cisco AP. Um, now under configuration you have the ability to configure all of your wireless networks, the security associated with it. You could configure splash pages for guest access. In addition to that, we have administrative configuration, which is configuring the controller itself. So I could, for example, click on a command line interface. I could type in show run, and I could run that command, and it's going to give me the output of that command in the command window. Um, in addition to that, I could configure the actual device, uh, you know, what's the name of our embedded wireless controller, um, do I have any FTP, SFTP settings that I want to use for loading images, um, in addition to that I have uh, DHCP pools, DNS, uh, management control, that's like how am I going to manage the, the actual controller, HTTPS, uh, am I going to allow SSH to it, those types of things. NetConf is, is mentioned in here which is for automation. Um, and then logging. Am I going to send these logs to, to like a syslog server? Um, software management. Um, I, I may have misspoke about the TFTP. I was thinking about loading images to the embedded controller, but this is actually for the APs themselves. So you have the ability to load uh, as many images as the memory on the associated AP running the controller software can handle. In our case, I think we can get one image for the 9120s. If you wanted to store multiple images, you could put in a reference a TFTP server where the APs could download additional images so that you could manage all of your firmware management for all the APs registered to the controller. So that's what this section is. And then uh, underneath time, that's you know referencing an NTP server so that it gets the correct time as your APs may need to log things and all of those, those types of things. Um, under configuration, uh, one of the things that you can do is see all of the access points that are registered to the controller. In our case, we only have one AP registered to the controller, but you can see that uh, you know it's got some statuses here. It's up, it's got an IP address, the MAC address for the radio, the MAC address for the Ethernet, um, Ethernet connection, and if I click on the actual AP, I've got some ability here to type in a location name, I can rename the AP, I can do things like, you know, if you had an AP in an area that maybe you didn't want that blinky light showing or the light showing at all. You could disable the lights, you know, on this configuration. There's interface configuration, so if you had VLANs and things like that, you could cover that. And also an inventory showing, you know, what's the serial number, uh, the types of memory that are in, in the device. You can see all that here. 
Um, and then there's some advanced settings and then this eye cap setting, which is basically so you could do packet traces. There's a bunch of capture things that you can do from the AP itself for troubleshooting. Um, and that is really it from an AP perspective. Uh, if you get into the wireless SSID configuration, we can go to wireless setup. And what you'll notice here is I don't have a location set up in this controller, but I could simply add a location and I could say test. Um, and I could say this is a test. And this is gonna add a location. And under wireless networks, I could come in here and add a wireless network called test. And I could say, hey, it's WPA uh, personal. And I could type in a password test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Um, as an example, and I could say add. And what it's gonna do is add this wireless network, and I could come over here to AP provisioning, and I could tell which AP I wanna add this AP, uh, click it, and move it over. And I could say this network and this location, and all of that is provisioned to this AP. So as an example, if you had maybe a couple floors, those types of things, you could designate each floor as a location. You could control which SSIDs go out to those, those floors. Um, and then you can also kind of group the APs so they know, hey, these APs are in the same logical group. Um, there's some things around AP signaling and things like that that you can that the APs will intelligently control so that the the amount of signal strength that the APs are emitting gets adjusted based on the neighbors that it sees in Wi-Fi range. So that is a basic overview of the embedded controller. We covered the configuration. We covered uh, just kind of a little bit about how the controllers work. We covered image management uh, for the APs and really just kind of giving you an overview of what's what's included in an embedded wireless controller. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I wanna know more about that, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.